going on YouTube, GSN right here. In today's video, I have great news. For those of you waiting for an iOS 12.1, 12.0.1, and iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak, a new exploit with Task for PID0 capability has been achieved. And of course, I'm talking about this one by Sony My Bad, who posted a picture just a day ago on A12, which is the newest CPU on the Apple devices, on the iPhone XR and XS and XS Max and so on. And of course, to be able to pawn that and get task for PID0 or the kernel task port is something very important. Remember, a jailbreak cannot be made if we do not have a exploit capable to give the uh, task port of the kernel, which this exploit in here achieved by sorry my bad can do. And this one has actually been tested on 12.1. You can see that in the photo in there, the device is running the 12.1, which is at this moment in time the latest version. Now there is no question on whether this is legitimate or not because Sorry My Bad is part of the 360 Vulcan security team and he attended Pound to Own and so on, he is a legitimate security researcher. So there is no question on whether this is legitimate or not. So yes, a task for PID0 ready exploit has been achieved by this guy in here on the latest and greatest hardware and of course on the latest and greatest software on iOS. So definitely nice. Now there is no word on any release for the moment, but Sorry My Bad posted a few weeks ago, quote, will be release information after fix. If you want a research iPhone, stay on 12.1. And that was after the uh, Timefu Cop posted, quote, successful exploit again, 360 security, gain full access to the iPhone 10 through a type confusion GIT bug in Safari and the UAF bug in iOS kernel. It's the first iPhone jailbreak record in Pong contest in the world, winning the highest reward of Timefu Cop at Sorry My Bad. And he said he will be releasing that particular exploit discussed in here. And of course he might be talking about this exploit in here because this one is also on 12.1 and seems to be achieving task for PID0 which of course is required for a jailbreak because this way you can read and write to the kernel memory. And of course the time for cop in here mentions that this was a jailbreak that was achieved in here and of course sorry my bad said that he will release the exploit but you should stay on 12.1 and of course lower. So we have have reasons to believe that it's pretty much the same exploit. However, if you're running iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1, please do not update to iOS 12.1 because it's not a good idea. iOS 11.4.1 is no longer signed and neither is iOS 12.0.1, so you will not be able to downgrade anymore from 12.1. And iOS 12.x has core trust and many other security mitigations, which may make jailbreaking a bit harder. So if you're running iOS 11.4 or 11.4.1, stay there. If you're running iOS 12.0 or 12.0.1, do not update either to 12.1. And if you're running iOS 12.1 already, as you can see, there is hope. So yes, this is pretty much it, a very, very important achievement for the jailbreak community. You can see in there that it says they got TFP0, which is something extremely important. I cannot stress this enough, task for PID0 is definitely required if we want to do a jailbreak on iOS 11.4.1, iOS 12 or iOS 12.1 and remember since this is working on iOS 12.1 this means that it may be compatible with 12.0.1 12.0 and even 11.4.1 in the right conditions. So do not update from the version you are on. But anyways, very, very good news. Pretty much the best news in the last couple of months for the iOS 12 and iOS 11.4.1. There were more exploits released in the past for both iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 12, but they did not provide tasks for PID0. If he releases this exploit, this is going to be very, very great. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.